Hey guys, long time no see. I know I haven't done a video in about three months, I think. It's already March and I have had not done a video, but we are back with another video. Today's Friday and I am up at the movie theaters. I'm about to see The Batman. It is out today and I'm super excited to see this movie. And stay tuned afterwards because we'll be doing a Funko Pop review of the new Batman Pops. So I'll see you guys eventually. Eventually. <sighs> okay. Whew. That movie was three hours long. Two hours, 56 minutes. Just to let you guys know, if you're thinking about going to the late showing of the Batman, it is two hours and 55 minutes long. Yeah, I kind of dozed off for about 10 15 minutes in some parts of the movie but i understand it enough to do this funko pop review so let's get into it so let's just go ahead and just get into the first pop that i have for you guys and of course we're going to start with the man of honor and it is batman himself and this is the funko shop exclusive except mine has the special edition sticker on it and it is the batman um i guess you can say he's in his flying pose uh the glider whatever the proper name for it was and it was funny is that this Funko Pop got a lot of heat because a lot of people said that it looked like um something from an anatomy book hey you put two and two together but I honestly this is a cool figure because I don't think we've had a Batman in I guess like a flying position yet um at least I don't have one in my collection I'm looking at all my Batman figures um but this one is pretty cool you guys this have, he has his arms wide open um it's a memorable scene in the movie because I've never seen a scene in any Batman movie where he's actually doing that. Uh, so it was pretty cool. Pretty cool scene and this is an awesome pop. The second Batman figure I have is the Hot Topic exclusive Batman where he's kind of in his fighting pose um, because he does do a lot of fighting in the movie, you guys, which is pretty cool. Um, this one is exclusive to Hot Topic and I think the value in this one has gone up pretty high in the last couple of days. Um, I think when I purchased it, I think it was like maybe 23, 24, 25 and I'm I'm sure it's gone up since then especially around the hype of the movie um but this one is no different from your I guess you know standard Batman other figures that we've seen there is a 10 uh, a 10 inch version of this exact scope you guys I saw it in the box launch about two three days ago I didn't pick it up when I came back two days later to pick it up it was gone so hopefully I can find that one to add to this collection too but this is a Hot Topic exclusive Batman and I guess we can just keep going, um, I guess, with the Batman. So after that, you guys, we have, I'm going to show both of these at the same time. We have the Bruce Wayne Funko Pops. We have Bruce Wayne in his, I guess, uh, trench coat and suit. And we also have the box lunch, uh, not the box lunch exclusive, but the pop in the box exclusive Bruce Wayne in his Batman outfit without his helmet. And this, you guys, I think is one of my favorite figures from this set, from, from the movie, just because of the darkness that surround Bruce Wayne's eyes like let me tell you this Batman has gone straight emo. I think if they would have had this one maybe as a common and this one as a chase I think that would have been you know like great and I see why they made it exclusive just to pop in the box because of how different it looks and if you guys look at the pop closely you will see that he's actually and I didn't notice this he's actually holding the Batman mask I didn't I did not know that I did not notice what he was holding until now but this is a pretty cool figure um you guys definitely one of my favorites in this lineup and then next you guys we're gonna move on over to who I think was the star of the movie kind of like I think brought the biggest hype around and it is Selena Kyle so if you guys did not notice that Selena Kyle we all know who she's playing in the movie but they're not putting that as her name on the box and I figured out why so in the movie this she's not officially Catwoman um, in this movie, this is like kind of like how she becomes Catwoman, like her previous life before she becomes the the cat of the night. So I, now I understand why they just put Selena Kyle on the, the box instead of Catwoman. But I do hope in the future that they do make a spinoff of Catwoman just so we can learn her backstory and have her own franchise like we did in the past. And I also got lucky enough, you guys, to find the Selena Kyle chase, which is right here. Um, the chase uh, is just her in the cat suit without the ski cat mask um i like it you know because she's not you don't really see her face like that that much throughout the movie so i mean it's cool i mean is it the best comment i mean the best chase in the world no it's not um which one of these would i've had like to see as a chase well okay i, 
guess. I guess having her without the mask has to chase is cool. But this one right here, her with the mask on, is definitely my favorite out of the two. I don't know if they, how often that happens where people actually like the common variant better than the chase. Um, but this is one of those moments for me. After that, you guys, I'll, and I also want to show you guys another pop from the line that is my favorite. And this is Selena Kyle on her motorcycle and this right here is a pop rides funko this you guys looks awesome i just love black on black on black the detail of this in the motorcycle also looks awesome um and you guys if you look and you guys if you look very closely you can actually see her face through the um the up shade part of the helmet you have to look very closely. I know some people are saying they wish they could see it more, but it's supposed to be like a tinted, you know, cover on the helmet. So why would you be able to see it more? Like you have to go with the aesthetic, you know, and I think that's what Funko definitely did, did here. I do not mind that you can barely see her eyes in the helmet. I like that you can barely see it. I mean, it just makes the figure even more cooler. So yeah, definitely one of my favorite pops, I think. Of the year so far, you guys, I'm not even gonna lie, I like this. I love Selena Kyle on this motorcycle. Pretty awesome, black on black on black. And the last figure that you guys, that I got from this lineup is the Riddler. And I just wanna say that I love how the Riddler looks here now. I mean, I know we're used to seeing the old Batman films and comics and just like all the details that he has on him, like almost like he has a, like a freaking costume on, like he's like the Joker or something. But I love what they did with him in the movie. And this figure is pretty true on spot on to the actual character um i'm not gonna lie you guys like i said i dozed off a little bit in the movie um because it was very late i was up since 5 30 yesterday i had to troubles with my card we'll get brake pads put on i have the errands to run i have my uh shirt release that's coming out for my design company which is releasing on monday national cereal day so don't forget to do a post with your favorite cereal and say hashtag eat more cereal uh just thought i'd throw that out there besides this one there is a um, there's all, I think there's a chase variant of the ruler. I think. I could be wrong. I don't know. I might be wrong. And also, you guys, there is an Oswald Copper Pot Pop. I don't have that one. That's the only one that I don't have from this collection. Well, no, no, no. So, I don't have that. I don't have Oswald uh, Copper Pot. Um, I think there's a chase variant of the Riddler. I think I'm not sure. Um, so I need the chase. I don't have the chase variant. Oswald Copperpot um, and the 10 inch Batman. And there's another Batman with him holding his little sling throwing boomerang Batman weapon thing. So those are the only ones that I am missing from this collection. But so far, I think I did pretty good collecting all of them. Well, you guys, thanks for sticking around to watch this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me like this in the future. And go check out The Batman, you guys. It's in theaters right now, nationwide. I think it's a great movie, and it's a perfect time to start off your spring slash summer with getting back outdoors and, well, getting back outdoors to go back inside. But just doing things that we used to do in the past. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm about to go to sleep because it's super late. Peace.